Hey guys, we're at a Shine On Yoga in San Marcos. I'm leading the guys through some lower back work, legs. We just started the prone sequence from the free Intro to Thai Massage workbook that's on my website. Really wanted to thank Teo and Shine On Yoga for having me out for this training. We're gonna continue working on legs here and then also get into gluteals in a minute. I wanted to be able to demonstrate some of that for you live on camera. I hope you guys are having a great day. And it's been a long day for us. We're going till 8.30 this evening. So you guys uh, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you some uh, gluteal work here in just a minute. Keister. Hey, Mama, how you doing? Your mom's watching? Oh, yeah. No, it's always the best uh, day when Mom watches. Hey, Robert's mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robert's mom, how you doing? Let's see if I can get a better camera angle there. Your son is a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Got to turn this guy around again and again. I haven't used this before, so there we go. That's better. Looks good. Switch legs, in other words. Don't do it, Don't do it. 
So again, in just a minute, I'm going to try to show you guys some uh, gluteal work. I'm still working with the little tripod here that Teo has. Let's see if I can show you a little bit of what they're doing over there. Got to turn this guy. Hey Jason, how you doing? Pretty good, huh? You get something to play with? The full standing version is more like showing off than anything else. Um, I just want to be able to distribute pressure well, but standing at the tops of the hamstrings is usually pretty safe. It's a big, broad structure. Your arches and your feet are big and broad. Yeah. And if you're at a jam, what you do is you put my hands put your hands on my shoulder. And you have some balance. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I can just like jump around. Jump around. No. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know. probably shouldn't do that. Take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> show like standing on the calves just one foot at a time you don't want to bend uh, their knee too much you want to roll their knee if you can come in very gently how's the pressure model not too much okay. yeah just an option if you don't like that one you can do the seated version the seated version is coming up like this Madison, you want me to demo some of the uh, gluteal work here in a second? Okay. <laughs> I assumed you would, but uh, yeah. I check. Hey Barbara, hey Sherry, how you doing? We're hanging out here in San Marcos with uh, Shine On Yoga. I'm going to show you some gluteal work here in a minute. They're just finishing up a little bit of the leg work we were doing from prone.
We've had a full day of training here, and we don't finish until 8.30, I think. 12 hours. Only 12 hours today. <laughs> Only like 12. Um, we'll resume tomorrow at 8.30, I think until 1 p.m. I'll probably do a Facebook Live tomorrow um, while they're giving the full trades. We're still finishing up the prone sequence where I said in just a minute I'm going to show some uh, just like simple, safe gluteal work you can do on friends, family, a loved one at home. Um, it's really great working with the studio here. They're going to be running a Thai Massage Jam here in San Marcos, which we're really, really excited about. Thai Massage Jam is growing. I've got students in Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Colleen, and now San Marcos, in addition to the one we run in Austin, saying that they're going to run a jam regularly. I am recording uh, the entire class as I have been recording all of my classes on a better camera with a wireless microphone here. Uh, those go up on the subscription service. I'm sure you've seen the videos we've been floating daily with a link to that subscription service. It's seven dollars a month. We have about 140 hours um, of recordings available. I uploaded the first day of class uh, from this class yesterday. I uploaded it last night. I just have to go in through and timestamp it. It's getting to a point where we have so much content online, students are starting to complain because it's so big, they're having problems searching for exactly what they want. Over time, I'm gonna shoot more niche content to make that process a little bit easier for people who are coming into the subscription so they have more specific things that I recommend they check out. If you guys have any questions for me, you can uh, write right here and I'll go ahead and answer as I can. I'll be back and forth uh, away from the camera.
So tell them uh, your social media channels or profiles if you have something you want to follow you on. Uh, you might get followers. Do you walk on people's heads? Yes. Oh, I'm ready. 
already. <laughs> Pre Tinder eyes. <laughs> Other way. Other way. So this, to me, is some of the easiest gluteal work. And I do this all the time at the jam. So like we were working on like hamstrings like this, right? It's really easy to come put pressure into the gluteals. And this is safe for most people. It also feels really good on their low back. So I'm just putting weight on this leg and then using the ball pad of my foot to press into the gluteals. So you're going to start to feel the connections along the sacrum right here. It could be a little bit ticklish apparently. Yeah. Right there, how's that? That's good. Now, I like to jostle because it shakes the person out and gets their lumbar spine moving. It's really good if they have low back pain. If I pick a spot that I think feels dense, how's that right there? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep my knee bent, but I'm gonna lean in, how's that? Mm -hmm. No more pressure than that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I could also use my heel from this position, but that's sharper. This is really, really <laughs> good gluteal work. <laughs> and this is also part of the party sequence, because I can drink a beer and do this. <laughs> Real easy. Real easy. Now, I'm a massage therapist, I'm a guy. If I was working on her and I went down and used my hands on her gluteals, how does she feel? Prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Give me money. Prostitute. When, when I use my feet, how does it feel? It feels good. Fetch. It just has a totally <laughs> different <laughs> <laughs> You it's apparently caught us on the rowdy day here, Facebook. <laughs> I'm going to step to the other side, same thing. If I need more balance than being on the mat, I can get something firm. Sometimes I can hook my foot under the mat. I'm just going to work the other side. Oh, that's so different. Why is it so different? I don't know. It just feels different? It feels different. On this side? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I want pressure, I just lean in. How's that? That's good. Now, do I want to reinforce? How's that? <laughs> Let's <see. laughs> No? <laughs> um, the other thing about this is when you think about it from a like, chair massage like concept, it's visual. You take advantage of the fact that it's visual. You take advantage of the fact that you can Facebook Live it. You take advantage of the fact that you can take photos and post them on Instagram. People actually want to see this. Right there. Yeah, fairly safe. So if I want deeper compressions, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start at the top of her hamstrings with my knees, right there. I can use some palm pressure or finger pressure along the spine here. And then I can balance some weight. I'm gonna walk my knees into the gluteals on either side. These are sharper, how's that? You want more pressure? Okay, now, how's this for more pressure? Okay, what if I start to lean to the right, lean to the left? In her case, I think maybe a little bit closer to the tailbone right there. How's that? That's good. There we go. How's that? Then I go, hey, how's the pointy knee? Because now it's like an elbow. But the knees are a larger, broader structure. If I did this with my elbows, how would it feel? Too sharp, right? The knees and feet are what I'm going to use to bust up concrete, and then I'm going to slowly do more spot work with my forearm and elbow. How's that? How's that right there? Yep, found it. Show how to use your forearms and elbows, but I think, especially in the beginning, I really like this because it jostles their spine open. It's a big, broad, more receptive tool, 
and then I use something a little bit sharper, but it's still got that deep weight pressure. How much weight was that on my hands? No. Very little, very little. You guys want to give and receive? Okay. Take time, if you just need a restroom break, you can do that as well. So I hope that you guys were able to hear me um, as I was going through that. Mm -hmm. I was just standing at the side and using my foot, the ball pad of my foot, to gently jostle through Whoa, the gluteals. Wow. And then you can see them starting to work back there and get, oh wow. <laughs> um, that's safe for you guys at home. If you want to try that on friends or family. The only time I can think of that if maybe you wouldn't want to do it is if somebody had a really fresh like lumbar herniation or a disc problem in their lumbar spine. Otherwise, people with low back pain love this. The way I have my phone set up, I can't read all of the comments there, Joyce, but I'll go ahead and respond to that either after the broadcast or later this evening when I'm on my laptop. But this is safe to give to your friends, friends, family, loved ones. If you don't have a nice uh, mat, you could put them on a rug, maybe put down some towels. Um, occasionally I'll use pillows, blankets, comforters. Comforters in particular, like double, triple them up so there's some padding. But this is very easy. It doesn't hurt your hands. You're able to work on people's gluteals and a foot is a much broader structure than an elbow. How we doing, guys? Good. There's a lot of groaning over there. <laughs> so listen, you guys have a good day. I'll go ahead and talk to you soon. Like I said, hopefully tomorrow, um, sometime near lunch, 11, noon, somewhere in there. I'll probably go ahead and Facebook Live again so you can tune in to a little bit of the trade that they're giving. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing? Um, go ahead and try this at home. Again, you're just working on a loved one. It's right in the flesh of the tuchus. The tuchus is a medical term. Um, it's just right in the flesh of the gluteals with the ball pad of your foot. Allows you to work on friends and family safely. You guys have a great day, and thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate all your attention. And if you want to subscribe to that subscription service, I'm sure you'll see on Robert Gardner Wellness, my business page, the tons of links on the little videos we put out. That subscription service has about 140 hours of my video instructional content on it. Hey, Cheryl. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Somebody's starting a uh, time massage jam up near Dallas. Hopefully that'll uh, go off well. Also, somebody in Denton, I think, is interested in running one, but we'll see what happens. You guys have a great day, and thanks again.